Hey everyone, I'm Phoebe Ann. Welcome to my new channel. This week's video, I'm going to be doing three summer room decor DIYs. I wanted to give a special thank out to my friend at Luna Piano on YouTube for helping me make the coaster clip out of this video. It is a collaboration. Don't forget to go check out her channel. She's super awesome. And yeah, let's get right into the DIYs. Okay, so our first DIY is a popsicle banner. I started out by getting some paint samples at Walmart and Lowe's, and then I cut it out to look like a popsicle. Next, I placed it on top of some other samples and cut it out to make more. They should end up looking like a U or an N. Then I flipped one over to the back, took a popsicle stick, and glued the two together with some hot glue. As you can see here, I also pressed down the stick to make it more secure. And there you go, you have a really cute popsicle. Okay, so now I just went ahead and made a couple more. I think I made about six or seven of these for my banner. I just did the same process over again for all of the popsicles. Okay, so once you have glued them all together, it's time to put them onto your yarn or string. I'm using yarn for this video. So I took the yarn, placed it about the top center of each popsicle, and then put a dab of glue over top of the yarn to secure it. If you don't have glue, you could also use tape. And there we go, we are all done. This looks super festive and fun. Okay, so our next DIY is a coaster in a collaboration with At Luna Piano. Go subscribe to her channel. She's super awesome and helped me make this. So the first step in making your coaster is getting some cork cord and then tracing out four inch by four inch squares. Yours can be bigger or smaller depending on whatever cup or mug you are using. Next, I went ahead and started to cut out my coaster. After that, I traced a super trendy pineapple and decided to paint the base yellow with some acrylic paint. Then I went in and added green for the stems and leaves. And even though this pineapple is cute as it is, I went ahead and added some orange spikes to make it stand out more and then a really pretty turquoise background to make it pop. Okay, so here I'm just pouring some Mod Podge out into the lid, and I took my paintbrush and started to apply it on. Also, don't forget to go subscribe to At Luna Piano. I had so much fun filming this collaboration with her. Also, this is going on pretty thick and white. Don't worry, it's just like Elmer's glue and it ends up drying clear. However, I did use a matte Mod Podge, and if you want your shiny, don't forget to get that specific type. Our last DIY is some Hawaiian wall art. I just took some yarn, cut it into three even strips, and placed it on top of a wooden dowel. Then I got some Hawaiian flowers and started to place them on top of the string. Next I took my hot glue gun, be careful they are very hot, and I started to glue a dab onto the back of each flower, and then I placed the yarn on top of the flower. And to make it extra secure, I added another dab over top of the yarn. Went ahead and did my second flower, and then the last one. Okay, now I'm just going to fast forward, show you that you just continue gluing all of the flowers together onto the string. And 
And then after you've glued all the flowers, I didn't film this clip, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I just took some yarn and tied it to the end of the wooden dowel up top so that it could hang up on a door or a hook. And then after that, you are all done. And here is the final product. Thank you guys for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. Also, one more thanks out to my friend at Luna Piano for helping me film the coaster clip of this video. We will soon be doing some more collaborations, so keep in mind of that. And also, comment down below what summer DIYs you want to see me do next. Thanks for watching. Bye.